Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So I just finished watching the Mayweather McGregor, the second press conference live from Toronto. And McGregor just, he just destroyed Floyd on the mic. You know, honestly, Floyd cannot compete with him on the mic as far as the trash talking is concerned. You know, Floyd's old, man. Like, he he's not cool. Like, he's not even, he's not cool. He's lame as shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same shit from the first press conference. You know, he's talking about McGregor's a th $3 million fighter. He lost before. Like, you got to give me some new shit, dog. You know, you, you can't keep repeating this shit over and over again. And, man, Floyd's just showing his age. He, he a 40-year-old ass nigga, man. This nigga old as shit, man. McGregor just treating the shit out of him. He called Steven Espinosa a bitch just for no reason. <laughs> the other day, he was just treating the shit out of Mayweather Sr. And they was giving Mayweather Sr. lines. I seen it from his perspective. I don't even know if Mayweather Sr. is really all there, man. You know, he, he getting on LRB big ass. Leonard LRB look like every fucking villain from every movie ever made. You know what I'm saying? How you look like, how you look like that? Like, your, your fucking goatee. Is spray painted on in your fucking head. You just you sweating so hard you didn't even hit the podium yet, dog. Like McGregor, he he gonna win all these fucking press conferences. I think there's two more, or maybe I don't know. I think they're going to London and New York. Man, when they go to London, Floyd's gonna get booed out the building. And I think he enjoys this. You know, honestly, I think these two dudes are cool behind the scenes, and they're really just. Getting over on all of us, you know. There was talk of uh, McGregor saying some racist shit when he was telling Floyd to dance, boy, dance. And, you know, it's not even that serious, dog. McGregor ain't racist. It's not even like that. But I'm sure somebody will be out there talking that shit, saying McGregor's a racist. And, look, man, they know he knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, Floyd is enjoying himself. McGregor's enjoying himself. This is what he does. He talks shit. He's the shit-talking king right now. And he's looking like the motherfucking A side, to be honest with you. All this would really matter if this was going to be a competitive fight anyway, right? And we know this is not going to be a competitive fight. And on August 26th, Floyd's going to beat the shit out of Conor McGregor, man. Like, I, I just don't see it ending any other way. I don't see McGregor. <laughs> you know what? The thing is, Floyd better knock this dude out. Otherwise, he, you know, he might just be a bitch if he can't knock this dude out. I don't give a fuck how old Floyd is. He's supposed to take this dude down quick in like under five rounds but i just don't see it happening man he's gonna be cautious as shit i wonder how much money these dudes are getting paid to to fight but i think for sure this fight does more pay-per-view buys than mayweather pacquiao that's just my opinion uh pay-per-views priced at 100 bucks uh personally i won't be purchasing the pay-per-view but i will be watching it i am kind of hyped for the fight now after seeing these two press conferences they're both pretty interesting. Um, McGregor's suit was pretty dope, though. That shit, he had like a pinstripe suit that said, fuck you. I'm not sure. I don't think the blue one today he had on said that shit. But, man, McGregor about to get his ass beat. And there's no way around it. And really, it's not even going to hurt his image to get his ass beat. Like, if he loses to Floyd, I mean, it means nothing. You know, he loses. If he loses, he loses. It's going to be the same shit. You can go back to the UFC and stop ducking, motherfuckers. Because we know. Conor McGregor's ducking people in the UFC. But we're not going to get into all that because that doesn't really matter. We're talking about a boxing match between Mayweather and McGregor. Some shit we never thought would happen. And it's just crazy to see these dudes going back and forth. It's just Floyd just got the same tired routine. He need to hire a fucking ghostwriter to, to talk shit because the old, the old Floyd Mayweather, you know, the one who used to get on Shane Mosley's fucking nose, that's the funny Floyd. This Floyd Mayweather is just 40 and old. And he wearing them shitty ass fucking TMT gear. Motherfucker yesterday had on a, a 48 and 0 hat. Like, why? You couldn't get a 49 and 0 hat made? Like, what? I don't get it, dog. <laughs> so, you know, it's whatever, man. Dana White there just laughing. It's just comedy, man. It's funny. It's entertaining. And it's going to get more, more eyes on, you know, the fight on August 26th. They about to kill shit. I didn't realize Conor McGregor has so many fans out there. You know what I'm saying? I just, or at least fans that think that he could actually beat Floyd. You got to be smoking crack cocaine if you think Conor McGregor is going to beat Floyd. But I'm sure a lot of people are starting to be like, oh man, maybe, 
maybe Connor could beat him. He's talking a big game. Like, this motherfucker's all talk. You should, you should know this. Um, he's definitely not going to beat Floyd. And I just don't know how the fight's going to go, man. Like, if he kicks... If he kicks Floyd, I'll die laughing. If he fucking puts Floyd in a fucking headlock or a submission, I will die laughing. And I cannot wait to get on fucking cam and start talking that shit. But, you know, Mayweather McGregor, man, it, it is what it is. It's, it's a comedy act. It's a circus act. And I'm going to watch it. I'm just not going to pay for it. You know, I'm interested in the fight. Even the, what was that, the uh, the first, like, hype video that Showtime released, that shit got me real hyped for the, for the fight itself, so... You know, these two dudes, they're going to keep going at it. I guess they'll be on tape tomorrow, and I'm going to watch the shit live. And, you know, be back on audio, man. What did you guys think of the press conference? Let me know what you guys thought of McGregor and Mayweather. I, honestly, I really think McGregor keeps getting the, the better of him, you know, in this press conference, at least today for sure. You might get a slight edge to Floyd yesterday, but McGregor just shit it on Mayweather. Just shit on Mayweather, his brand, his dad. Showtime, LRB's fucking nose. He just shit on all of them, man. Man, the monetization on this shit is dead, but it is what it is. Hit man box and drop a comment like the video. I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best. Not exactly where I thought I'd be. Honestly, a nine to five never was in my dreams. I've been feeling all alone lately. Nothing I ain't used to since 88 as a baby. When I came up out the womb, everybody knew it was something special about me that fills the room. I never understood it, but my OG told me it's a blessing. I should use it to the fullest. And that's what I've been trying to do. But it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues. Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room. And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms. I'm in the midst of the world. I wish someone could see me. Surrounded by clouds, free me. It's like an endless dream. Leading to endless roads. I want to be free from the army of clouds. I dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah that's a cold world Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I want to be free from this army of clouds